Plus, brand new Fox News polls show just how close the presidential race could be in two key battleground states. And ever play Super Mario Brothers? Get ready for Super Ron Paul. We're serious. That's coming up as we approach the bottom of the hour on the top of the news. I'm Shepard Smith, and this is the Fox Report. It's the bottom of the hour. Time for the top of the news. President Obama and Mitt Romney are neck and neck in the mother of all battleground states, Florida. We have a brand new poll from there. It's a Fox News poll that shows the president leading the former Massachusetts governor by two points, but that's a statistical tie. He has a six-point lead in Ohio, the president does, another key swing state, but that's also within the margin of error. The president just visited Ohio yesterday, and Mitt Romney was there today. Shannon Green is live in D.C. on the top story from the bottom of the hour. What else are we learning from these polls today, Shannon? Well, Chef, the numbers are revealing when it comes to the motivation for voters in these two key states, whether they're voting for their candidate or against the opposition. Results from both states were very similar, so we'll illustrate this by taking a look at Ohio. 71% of Obama voters say they're voting for him. By contrast, 63% of Romney voters say they're voting against Obama, with just 29% saying it's about voting for Romney. Chef? We know the, how divided the nation is and how evenly divided it is, and the candidates are certainly acting like they know it, too. They are, and acting like they're already in general election mode. This was all sparked by something the president said during a campaign event at a college in Ohio earlier this week. We're going to play what he said and Mitt Romney's response. Somebody gave me an education. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I'm not going to apologize for my dad's success, but I know the president likes to attack fellow Americans. Hmm. Well, today the White House said that remark about the silver spoon wasn't directed at Romney, and if he thinks it was, then, quote, he might be a little oversensitive. Shep? All right, Shannon Green on in our Washington newsroom tonight. Shannon, thanks. Well, if Ron Paul does not end up winning the White House, his fans will have a pretty interesting consolation prize. They can beat Ron Paul in a new video game. It's called The Road to Revolution. And yes, it's kind of like Super Mario. You run around collecting gold. But we're pretty sure Mario never took on the Federal Reserve. A Ron Paul supporter created the game. He says it should be out by July, a month before the Republican convention in sweltering Tampa.